Everybody, welcome to the D pad. I'm Rick. I'm Jeff. I'm and like hanging out inside of. I'm Debbie's still mouth. here. And this is Link's Awakening. Huh, duh. Uh, <laughs> duh. The confusingly named exactly like the original from like 1993. Yep, no difference. Yep. Hey, there you are. I want to show you something Good night, interesting. Ben. Good night, Ben. You've gone poking into some of the ruins on this island, I can tell you. It's not nice to call okay. it ruins like that. I'm sure it's lovely. Pulls his pants and like, oh, no, that's ruins. <laughs> oh, no, I'm so sorry. I make little chambers based on those dungeons, but some chambers into the slab back there and turns into a real dungeon. What? How's that work, you ask? Who knows? <laughs> wow. I'm magical, but I have no idea why. But I want your help testing the limits of this thing. I want to hear about the dungeons you've seen. It inspires me to make new chambers for you. With a few chambers, you can make basic dungeons. With a bunch, you can make complicated ones. So he's clearly a torture enthusiast. Oh, he loves he loves it. I CBT. mean, I think we knew that about oh, him. Oh, God, yeah, closed beta test. Dampe, Dampe's closed beta test. Cognitive behavioral therapy. Not that once you finish arranging a dungeon, you got to adventure through it, too. I'm no designer, though, and I'm no adventure either. That's all up to you. Dampe is like the jigsaw of the Zelda universe. Yeah. You know what? Would you like to play a game? I can see why they get along, though. They've got a lot in common. They both have weird accent marks in their name. True, <laughs> true, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Dampe and Dampe. 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 We're the only French Haruleans. <laughs> oh, no. Well, Gagnon, I think, is Spanish at least Spanish a little. Spanish or Portuguese? It, you'd think, but he's That's French. He's English. actually French. Oh, okay. <laughs> Slot them into the dungeon to see what's inside. I feel like I should have spelled it G-A-G-N-O-N. Gagnon. Gagnon, yeah. Uh, g like Gagnon. I actually Gagnon. know someone. Actually, we both know someone whose last name is Gagnon. It's not pronounced Gagnon. No, she was in the short film with John. She so, was in the Jack and Jill thing. Uh, what the shit is this? What are you talking about? Her last name is Gagnon. What short film with John? You make it, make the it Jack and Jill one. Nightmare's Lair. Well, There's got to oh, be a stop have along the that. way from the treasure chest. There. I'll have to show you that later. Uh, I start, uh, can you finish it? Make a path from the entrance to the Nightmare's Lair. It's got to be a stop along the way from the treasure chest. If the chamber's got an exit, you got to connect it to another exit. Oh, that's... Okay. Take chambers from the menu on the right with A, then slap on the tiles to the left with A. Is this Mario Maker 2 Zelda? It's a little. It's sort of a Zelda dungeon maker. It, was this in the original game? No, not at no. all. No. Oh, Jesus. Okay. No. I, this. So the original game, what was here in the original game? The original game? game had nothing. Nothing. It was The just Game Boy original, this was just a spot of map with nothing there. Okay. The DX version added a little hut where there was a mouse who was into photography. And at okay. 12 points in the game, the mouse would appear and go, hey, I'm going to take your picture at this momentous occasion. Similar to Earthbound. Okay, so pretty that. much Earthbound Very much off. like that, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, but then you could go to the hut, and if you had the Game Boy printer for the original Game Boy Color, you could print out those pictures. Yeah. That's kind of funny. Press Y to check how your stairs connect together. Oh, all right. An exit in a chamber might turn into a locked door or a shutter, depending on which chamber you hook it up to. There are rules for which type of exit gets the right of way. You'll learn them pretty quick as you go. Okay. Well, that looks like... So this is like a Zelda maker if you can only control the rooms and nothing inside the rooms. Is yeah. What it seems like. Oh, Jesus. We have a fucking shitload. I didn't realize these oh, were sorted like that. More. Yeah. Also, everything looks like it's... Oh, how many exits are on the... Okay. All this, right. This is just... You can choose what boss chamber you have. That's cute. That's super cute. So Not they're, all, time, they're no. all the chambers from the dungeons that you've already Yeah, beaten. I think so. Maybe not I all of them, but many If you go back, them. I recognize the ones on... I mean, obviously the two bosses, but yeah, I recognize all three of yeah. those. Uh, all right, this is neat. Let's do... Uh, so, I can... Nope. I can't see the bottom thing there. Can I turn this or something with... No, you can't rotate or anything. So how... Oh, okay, you literally just have to, like... Huh. You have to pick from all right, whatever you have. So that's interesting. That's actually going to make this a little bit tough. How do I... There we go. Um, well, yeah, clearly it's like the more rooms you have, the easier. I don't know if we can do this one because we have no way of going... Oh, actually, okay, no, we have a way to do this. All right. So we'll do this. The nightmare key is always going to be in the last treasure chest you open. Any extra chests around the dungeon will have rupees and such in them. All right. Okay, so you need to get both of those... No, left... Yep. Right, you but I got two gotta... hallways. Oh, or actually, a hallway yeah. and a T. Here we go. We can do that. 
Sometimes you'll think you're all set, but a chamber isn't turning from red to blue like it should. When that happens, press Y to check to see what... Oh, so they're blue when the conditions are satisfied. So I still need... So, all right, let's do you this need right here. terminal room, yeah. And then... A hallway. An upper hallway. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay. Let's try this. Uh... Record no, arrangements? Play. I think you just have to click on the entrance, I believe. Oh, uh, sure. Why not? Oh, so you're just saving it? Go our, adventuring. There we go. I guess so, dungeon. yeah. dungeon. <laughs> this is cool. The goal of an adventure in this dungeon is to get to the end and beat the nightmare. Try not to run out of hearts before you get there. Oh, oh really? You will yeah. die. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go this way since I know that there's a thing over here. This is a pretty neat little thing. The question Key. is, is this going to be generally extraneous to the story, or will they knit oh, this almost into guaranteed. the... You think it'll just be a side? I think that the that the end goal of this is, like, maybe at the end of it all we get a heart container, or maybe we get, like, a couple seashell... Uh, secret seashells. Okay. I think it'd be cool. This probably is not the case, but if, like, after you beat all eight dungeons... Yeah. You need to have every... I wonder, if the color, I wonder if the color dungeon boss would be in the final oh, like, yeah, thing. Oh, yeah, sorry, so nine. It'd be cool if they then, like, presented you with a tenth dungeon that's, like, Dompe makes. It's randomized. Yeah. Okay. And there's a new boss at the end of it. That would and be pretty cool. I don't cool. know what that would get you, but it would get you something cool. Argus. Hey. Give me Argus. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I want. I want right? Argus. My favorite Zelda boss. I'm getting a tattoo of Argus. There we go. I got a couple oh, we of got Zelda the themed themed tattoos. Back. Oh no! Whoops! I I keep hitting A because in the original it was the it was B and A yeah. were your two buttons. All right. So this seems like a really, really, really easy way to get lots of money fast. Oh, you sure. know what I just realized? Yeah. I bet the Pegasus boots are gonna be well, left five. the L button, and you're not gonna have to equip them. Probably. It'll either be... That's how the controls work on the Super Nintendo. Oh, yeah. The L doesn't do anything right now, right. so That's neither one Almost guaranteed to be charged. Suspicious. And both R buttons do shield. That's great, yeah. I'm 100% I'm down for that. That'll be good. I really love that they're kind of, like, m like minimalizing the impact of, like, your inventory mm -hmm. a little bit. Well, I mean, if they're going to remake the game and change anything, changing yeah. annoying stuff like I mean, pause, menu, swap things. No yeah. fault of the Game Boy for only having two buttons. Right. Yeah, There's sure. only so much you can do. Uh, uh, you know, they. it was an amazing game, considering you had to switch out every item constantly. Hey, the pause alarm. button, the pause screen was on your screen more often than any <laughs> part yeah. of the actual gameplay. It was kind of ridiculous at some time, uh, at some points. Like. But, like, expert players... Oh, Oh my god. Obviously figured out their own layout for the pause screen for their inventory so they can quickly get to the most commonly used yeah. items. Right. Yeah. Which are pretty universally Pegasus boots and Feather, gauntlet. Pegasus boots, and bombs, basically. And oh, and the gauntlet. Yeah, those four, I'd say. Yeah. Those are your four main th and unfortunately Not your sword really bombs your so sword much. and shield are also items. So you pretty much keep the sword oh on B god. unless you're doing a running jump or bomb arrows. Yep. Right. A thrill like that deserves something from my collection in exchange. You can okay, have so some we get some my more. Lower and jaw. honestly, I never even really used bomb arrows. It is biting Link's head right off. They were like a glitch in the game anyway, so. It's just tickling. All right, so Bow wow is the... gentle. Watching you down there gave me an idea for a new challenge. It's ready whenever you want it. Like, I'm wondering, should, uh, we, should I... we be pausing to arrange adventure? Interesting. Should we pause every once in a while to come back for this while we've got stuff, or yeah, should why we? Not? Yeah, maybe every couple dungeons or so. Yeah. If, do it's, we, on, if it's on the way. Do we want to do we this until he runs out of stuff that we can finish? Well, for I was going to say or? it seems like he has a new challenge for you now. If he just keeps unlocking them over and over again, then yeah. maybe we. Maybe can let's move do on. one more, and if he says I've got a third, then we'll. Yeah, we'll that's bail. what I'm saying. Yeah, but if you have to progress the story slightly, yeah. then perfect. We'll just come visit every so often. Placing the basics. Oh, can we not even do this one right now? He oh. hasn't really explained the fact that we can't do this one. Okay. All right, so maybe we do need to do oh, a couple no. more levels. Maybe we said adventure and we want to do a range. Because we're creating these dungeons. Yeah, okay. Oh. See those tiles okay. with the treasure chest and locked door marks? That's where you can put chambers that have stuff in them. 
You get keys to open locked doors out of treasure chests. Be sure you place enough chests to make it through. Sad to see an adventure run out of keys. Hilarious. Okay. All right, so now... Okay, so they're flipping it. Now it's here's your stuff, but you need an entrance and an exit. Okay. Do they give you the tiles with treasure chest on them, or do you have... Uh, no, you have to no, you elect have something to, yeah. that has a treasure chest. So let's do this. Keep it simple. Um... Digging this little. Uh, this is a jam. Yeah. It's a little remix. This reminds me of like the uh, SNES classic, like actually music, like a, just an, a, a oh, yeah. neat little jam that that you can listen to yeah. and doesn't get offensive. Let's do that. Oh, nice! It's like here's a new thing, but we can't use that because it doesn't have a chest in it. Whoop whoop whoop. Uh, I can do this, and I gotta make sure to put something on the end. It's the terminal room. Um, haven't really done much with the stairs yet, but that's all right. So over here, whoops, I keep hitting the wrong thing. All right, so we got some with chests, and now let's set our boss. Let's do let's do the bottle grotto. Yeah. All right. Cool. Neat. These are these are cute. Like, I'm sure as you go further in, they're not going to be able to be quite as minimalistic. But well, the question is, are they looking for a challenge to the gamer from arranging or from doing the dungeons? Like, is arranging the dungeons going to become a puzzle game in and I of itself? I think so. I think as we get further in, I they're mean, going the dungeons to aren't really the challenge because we've already beaten them. It's true. Yeah. yeah. Any enemies or bosses we've seen here, we've beaten. Right. So then, yeah, I imagine these are going to eventually be, like, logic puzzles. Right, like, we've got a very strict set of things that we have to solve. How right. do we do that with... That, that's kind of neat. Yeah, yeah I can There's I some can old that. Windows Also, like, game. some... I'm sure some will force you to put multiple, like, mini-bosses in. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Sure. There was so some old Windows 98 game with, like, pipe pieces and, like, goo would start flowing. Oh, Pipe Dream. Pipe Dream, yeah. yeah. It reminds me of Pipe Dream. Uh, one of the one of the absolute classics of of uh, there's a Simpsons PC game games. like that too. There's a lot. There's a lot of uh, of games that that use that as like a basis for the m game mechanic. Yeah, I think Gizmos and Gadgets ripped off an, uh, an yeah. element of it for a mini game. Nice. Also, shout out to Gizmos and Gadgets. Mm -hmm. Oregon Trail. Oh yeah, classic. Yeah. Uh, uh, incredible machine. Yep, great. Why not? What was the sequel to Gizmos and Gadgets? Gadgets and Gizmos. No, Sorry, su Super Gizmos super and Hoodads. <laughs> <laughs> they followed the ghouls and No, there ghosts. was really an, a sequel game where, like, you're in a weird hotel. Oh, weird. And yeah, with, with the same main character. Same main character, yeah. Right, Only in this I, one, I think you had, like, energy sparks that you shoot. I've Alone in the dark. <laughs> Final Fantasy VI. Yeah. No, that wasn't it. Uh, Bottle Boy. There were like live wires <laughs> on the floor that you had to get over. Yeah, it was it was much more of an investigational game, I think. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, do they have different versions of the boss theme per boss? It sounds a little bit like spookier than uh, than the uh, the Moldarm did. You know, it's funny. I constantly mix up Moldorms and Land Molas. And yet, I am always able to remember that Moldorm is the first boss of this game. So I don't funny. know how I keep mixing up Moldorms and Land Molas. <laughs> uh, okay, so there was no sequel to Gizmos and Gadgets directly, but the, the titular, or not the titular hero, the main hero was used in games like Midnight Rescue and Tre Treasure Math Storm and a couple of other ones. Oh, that character, the, like, hiker guy. Weird hat guy yeah. with, like, a turf, or, like, a teal... <laughs> Sweater or something. I had Treasure Map Storm. That's the one that's on a mountain, right? Yep. Yeah. And Treasure Mountain, but yeah, same idea. So what's the hotel one that I was thinking of? Um, hotel Mario. Could be Midnight Rescue, which actually precluded uh, that game, I believe. I don't know. There we go. That's um, what we got to do. Wasn't there a game that uh, kind of combined Land Mola and Moldorm? Uh, I want to say... It might be Skyward Sword. Maybe? Or... I don't know, because like the whole Princess. point was... Moldorms, their whole thing is they crawl on the ground, and Land Mole is their whole thing is that they jump through the air. It's sort of like the dudes from Dune do both at the same time. You did it. Good job. Yay. Placing the basics clear. What? 
What a show. There were times I'd swear well, you Well, Moldugas act like land molas. It, and that's, that's true. Breath of the Wild. Yeah, no, that's fair. All right, I think we're going to walk away from, okay. from this. If we just keep getting chambers for these. Yeah. This, this sounds there. like post-game stuff. Yeah, or at least maybe half of the dungeons through the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll come back periodically just to see what's up. Word. I am going to take a quick trip back into the second dungeon I'll because go we did visit. leave a couple oh, yeah. of rooms behind. You want to do that, and then I'd say go visit Crazy Tracy. Yes, we may as well see what is happening there now. Alright. This. Alright. So realistically, we only have to backtrack through one and two. Uh, yeah. When we get bombs, we're going to have to go back through the first one again. Oh, right. Yeah, we still need bombs. But we just didn't go this way. There's like three rooms to yep, yep. clear in here. <laughs> and blades to get hit by. Alright. I like they kinda look smiley. Yeah, they're kinda like a hey. Oh no! <laughs> Those oh, guys actually yeah. that dude actually looks like um Happy. Buzzy, Buzzy Beetle. Looks dead to from, me. From uh, from Mario 3. The dudes that you like hover yeah. on in like cloud levels. I think that's actually it <laughs> for here. The Koopa Troop? Yes. yes, yeah, that's everything. The sky okay. troopers? I forget what they're called. Not the little buzzy beetles that like fly and they like fly up. They don't as all you. fly. Yeah, eventually they'll they kill you. They don't all fly, yeah. In Mario they 1 they don't fly. Right. But in 3 they do. But they don't. They're, no, they're parabuzzes. Oh, yeah, they yeah, fly. they're different ones. They parabuzzes. That, yeah. Well, regardless, why don't we come back next time and we'll still head for Crazy Tracy? Crazy <gasps> Tracy. Crazy Tracy. Boy. Well, excuse me, princess. Check it out. You got the. It seems strange, like particle effects and camera effects Can't are do what's that doing yet. it. Like every yeah. time the, the, the Hopefully smoke there's a patch. came in. Whoop, whoop. Okay, it didn't grab on. Let's try cool. again? Or, oh, no. no. Yeah, you need a hook shot for that one. I think. Yeah, I think so. We're not get that. What? Are you kidding? I hit A. <laughs> oh my god. I was holding A. The prompt might be slow to come up. I guess so. All right. Yeah, it totally There we go. Ah, assholes. Give us a second here. <laughs> 